So using the illustration of healing, which Jesus did so frequently, this is an unthinkable thought for us here, but supposing you had terminal lung cancer from a lifetime of smoking. But let's suppose this was your condition, and right now you're sitting anxiously in the office of your physician. If you were sitting there in that condition, what would be the best news you could possibly hear? What if the doctor were to say, uh, I forgive you for all those years of smoking? Is that the best news? You see, forgiveness would not heal the damage done. You would still die, but you'd die forgiven. Now, forgiveness is only helpful, or would only be helpful, if, if the physician were accustomed to uh, killing his patients as a punishment for smoking. Then you'd really want to know that the doctor had forgiven you. But doctors do not kill their dying patients. Now, what if instead of saying, I forgive you for smoking, the doctor should say, I have great good news for you, my patient. If you'll trust me enough to cooperate with me, I can make you well again. How well can you make me, doctor? Completely well. You mean that I can be perfectly healthy again in spite of all these years of smoking? Yes, you can. Well, doctor, actually all I want is to be forgiven. Would you say that? It would be insane. And yet in the realm of theology, many say that. Or would you rather say, doctor, you said if I would trust you enough to cooperate with you, you could make me completely well. Tell me, how can I cooperate? What do you want me to do? Well, actually, the doctor might say, I want you to do a good deal because you need to change your lifestyle in many ways. But if you really trust me enough to follow my instructions, I can absolutely guarantee you will be perfectly restored. Now, no human physician, of course, can say that. But it is true, isn't it? Anybody who trusts God, there's an absolute guarantee that he will be perfectly restored. But God uh, never loses one of his patients unless that patient chooses not to come and chooses not to listen, chooses not to trust, and maybe goes to some crack down the street. Now, would you possibly say, well, doctor, I don't like the sound of that word cooperation. Uh, I mean, that sounds like quite an obligation there. I thought you'd do it all. I was hoping you'd put your hand on my chest and I'd be healed in some miraculous way. Look, if I have to work to get well, I'm looking for another doctor. Or would you say, on the contrary, very eagerly, tell me what you want me to do. What must I do to be well? It sounds like the jailer uh, during the earthquake in Philippi, doesn't it? What must I do to be well?